one of the most impressive venues in all of college athletics. Ryan Fieldhouse serves as the battlefield for today's top 15 women's lacrosse showdown between the number 12 Johns Hopkins Blue Jays and the number one team in the country, the Northwestern Wildcats. Rowled by Northwestern. Behind the cage, circling around Skein, charging inside, beats it over the shoulder, Northwestern leads. Up a goal after Izzy Skein scored, what player up? Quickendall surveying, Skein in the middle! No doubt about it! Leli Johns Hopkins has lost Izzy Skein. Defense staying closer on Skein, but they gotta keep track of where she is as she finds herself in the middle again! And it's an early hat trick in the first five minutes of this one for Izzy Skane. And Casey Riggs makes the initial play there, but it's again her getting beat up top. And John's hot. Attacked and on the free position, she makes it worth it. 4 nothing Northwestern. The Cats stay hot. Well, that was an aided stick drop, Eli. Because Denver last Friday. That was a 14-10 finish. A very defensive battle throughout that contest. Taylor charging in. Goes opposite side and adds to Northwestern's lead. There's no stopping this team right now. Cheers have really impressed her, making her feel a lot more confident in the future of this program. Skane goes low, and she scores again. All over the place. Quickendall wound up behind the back pass to Smith, who can't find a lane. Lost the ball. It's battled around, and Quickendall picks it up. Position, Quickendall. Looks to break Hopkins' scoring streak. Works inside, goes low, switches it up, goes high, and gives Northwestern a needed goal. It's the patience mixed with... Oh. Taylor behind the crease. Finds Lacasio, goes low, five hole goal! What a moment for Abby Locasio, Eli. You talked about how, no doubt about this one, you can hear the net ripple. Izzy Skane puts it in there so hard off the iron, and the way she fits that ball into that far corner. Madison Doucette is looking that way, but it's impossible to cover there as she tries to get the cross up in time. You're moving to your left. Ball pickups as well, while Liberty has three to add to her seven. So they're making plays not just on shots. Western has to shoot before the end of the corner. Taylor calls the number, and she scores. The second goal of the quarter comes with 27 seconds left. Excuse me, 16. The time went by too fast, and Northwestern has their 10th goal of the afternoon. Inside, Skane scores! Izzy Skane sock trick. It's 11-5. And that's that one-time put away that looks so difficult when almost anybody else is doing it, but looks so easy when it's Izzy Skane. Looking doll Skane and Taylor. Her sixth shot is a rifle, and another goal for the Cavs, who are starting to feel it in quarter number four. Oh. Excuse me, a six-game win streak. So their last game coming out against uh, Notre Dame. Their last loss, but they score again. Maddie Taylor isn't done on the action. Again, she gets ahead of steam coming into the pass. Save on the free position. Maddie Taylor now a four-goal scorer in this one. Feeds it to Skein. And it's in. What else is new? Izzy Skane has scored a goal in her home field. Fastest hand. Now, I'm no mathematician, but that looks like 20 a game. It's a lot. We get some really good defenses in that time, too. They close this home stand in the next 10 seconds. And they look at Penn State and North Carolina on the road in the coming week. For Hopkins, they fall to 0-1 in conference play. They've got two home games themselves. Ohio State and James Madison on deck for them. 14-9 the final. Northwestern on top. Izzy's game with seven goals in this one, Noah.